How California Marijuana Dispensaries Got Started, and Some History. Some call it the Green Rush, referencing marijuana from California. Marijuana growers account for $14 billion a year in sales in California, making it the state's most valuable cash crop. The acceptance of marijuana in California started with the Moscone Act in 1976, changed violation for small-scale possession from a felony to a misdemeanor in California. The law was pressed because of a high number of marijuana arrests clogging the criminal system. Then, in 1979, Berkeley, California voters passed the Berkeley Marijuana Initiative, an ordinance that makes the possession, cultivation, sale, and transportation of marijuana the police department's lowest priority. The law is still on the books today. This was the beginning of California's medical marijuana laws and set the stage for future medical dispensaries and marijuana from California. First Medical Marijuana from California California was the first state in America that legalized marijuana for medical purposes. Medical cannabis may be legally used and cultivated by patients in California under Proposition 215, provided that they have an approval from a licensed physician. Laws legalizing medical marijuana in California were approved on November 6, 1996 with a 56% vote. The law removed criminal penalties on a state level that involves usage, possession, and farming of medical cannabis. Supporters of medical marijuana argue that it can be a safe and effective treatment for the symptoms of cancer, AIDS, multiple sclerosis, pain, glaucoma, epilepsy, and other conditions. Patients who are recommended by their physicians to use medical cannabis for treatment are provided legal protection under this law. An amendment to the law was approved in 2003, imposing guidelines on the amount of medical marijuana to be used or cultivated by patients and their care caregivers. The amendment also created a medical marijuana patient registry established by the California Department of State Health. From California marijuana dispensaries, this amendment gave them legal protection from the state. The Start of California Marijuana Dispensaries The San Francisco Cannabis Buyers Club was the first public medical marijuana dispensary in America. The club was established in 1992. The name eventually changed to Cannabis Cultivators Club and Cannabis Healing Club. To date, the largest medical marijuana dispensary are also located in California. Harborside Health Center, which opened in 2006 and caters to more than 100,000 patients. Just last year, Harborside Health Center got into a controversy when the landlords complained that the center violated federal laws. Court proceedings are still being done to date. As with other medical marijuana dispensaries all over the country, California marijuana dispensaries have helped to provide the foundation and structure how dispensaries operate in other medical states. Medical marijuana dispensaries are also called medical marijuana collectives and cooperatives or co-ops. In order to comply with state legislation, co-ops adhere to guidelines and requirements. How California marijuana dispensaries legally operate California marijuana dispensaries have to classify their business as either for-profit or non-profit organization before getting a license to operate. They should obtain proper forms and permits. Since they are also considered as a form of business, they are obliged to pay taxes. Operators should also fully understand and follow state and local guidelines. They should also maintain good relationships with law enforcement agencies and the local government. Opening California marijuana dispensaries can cost $30,000 to a half million dollars. These costs are inclusive of application and license fees, building fees, marijuana cultivation, and legal consultation. Marijuana plants should be kept safe. California marijuana dispensaries should be tightly secured with security cameras and security personnel. Many dispensaries nowadays adopt state-of-the-art security measures to make sure of its safety. Membership is also important in California marijuana dispensaries. 
patients and caregivers should undergo an application process and should provide the physician's recommendation and contact information. Patients should present their identification card upon their visit to a dispensary. California marijuana dispensaries should verify all of this information, particularly the physician's recommendation. Keep copies of pertinent information provided by the patient. Most importantly, all patients and caregivers should sign a membership contract. California marijuana dispensaries are required to keep track of marijuana distribution as mandated by the Medical Marijuana Program Act. They are only required to grow or provide 8 ounces of dried marijuana, 6 mature marijuana plants, or 12 immature plants for patients or caregivers. It is important for these marijuana dispensaries to document how many marijuana plants they provided to their members. These are just some of the many laws that constitute operating medical marijuana dispensary in California. These are mostly state laws applicable only to one state, namely California. As with any laws, violations are dealt with accordingly, so it is best to always follow them. Let us know what you think.